Welcome back to Tundra's Racing. All right, guys, today we have a little bit of an unboxing video for you. And the first one that we're looking at here was one that was super hard to come by here in our area. For whatever reason, we did not get either case that this car came in, but it is the red version of the Nissan is it the R390 GT1. But really happy to get this one. Really like the color that came in. And we've also got the blue and the white versions of this one as well. But the red was super hard to come by in our area. Blue, which also looks super good. And also have the white version as well. Love that they uh, gave it some rear lights and front lights. Super clean. Did a little bit of details up front. Nothing else on it. Makes it look really good. Especially with the gray wheels on this one. Alright. Next one we have. One that recently came out here was the Bugatti EB10 SS, EB110 SS. Looks super good in the yellow. Black wheels, red interior. Let's rip this guy open, huh? If you guys don't know, I free pretty much everything that I get. I love that the headlights are actually a part of the uh, interior on this. Focus. Yes, this is a super cool looking one too. Let's let this one spin for a second. And then we also have the, uh, this is the second version of this one. The first version of this one was the light blue model, which we have. Right here. Go ahead and let this one spin for a second too. And again, this is another model that they did a really great job with, keeping it super clean. Small little detail on the front there with the Bugatti emblem. Nothing else on the sides, nothing on top. Tail lights and the license plate. Looks really good. And another one that we just got in the mail just a couple days ago, which we'll see if you guys know what the uh, special thing about this one is. It's a Ferrari Enzo, yes, but it has the SP5s on it, which means that it came out of the uh, track set. We've got a bunch of versions of this one already, but really happy to get this one, add it to the collection. Very similar to the one sitting right back here behind it. It has the five star wheels on it. And it's a little bit more orange compared to the red that's on this one. Alright, and the next two that I have up are also Ferraris. You guys know that I'm a big Ferrari nut. Really happy to track these two down after many, many, many years of hunting. First one is a Ferrari racer, a 250 LM, the gold version. Zoom out here so you guys can take a look at that. But 
carded. Card's not great. So we're definitely going to rip this guy open. Definitely an opener. Just like all the others. I'm sure some of you out there are cringing already at me doing this. Free it. What's the point of having it in its case unless you're going to resell it? Not about reselling here. Look at this thing. This thing looks great. Super sparkly, the paint job on here. We've got one more of these to eventually collect, but this one, very, very happy to get. Love the gold rip, gold lip on the wheels on this. Super, super sparkly. We'll let it turn for a minute here. What do you guys think about this? Ferrari 250 LM. Wish they made Ferraris still. These things are going up in value like crazy. So trying to get them while I still can. And they even came with a cool sticker. This one was number 7 of 24. The year it came out. And we've got one more. Another one that was super hard to track down and I've been looking for for years. It's a Ferrari FXX. All black. Red interior. Little insignias on the side there, the decals there. And we've got... The red uh, on the wheels there, too. You know it. We're going to open it. Let's rip it open. Oh, that one came off easy. Look at that. No problem. Until the glue on that thing is done. Super sparkly on this one, too. Super sparkly. I did not think that this one was going to be so sparkly. That is crazy. Once you get it out of the package, you can really see it. Inside the package, you think it's almost just a gloss black, but it's not. Wow. This one's awesome. Let's let this one spin for a minute. Really happy to get this one too. Alright, guys, what do you think of the FXX Enzo? Let me know down below. There's a sticker for this guy. We'll go up there with it on the wall. This one took forever to track down. Don't have a whole lot left to get for the Ferraris. We're down to about 30 left or so. Alright guys, let's go ahead and put these on the wall, huh? Let's do these uh, R390s first. Up here on the Hot Wheels wall. And the Nissans... Right over here, we'll go all the way up. And there's their spot for all three, the R390s. Go white out front, blue in the middle. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, guys. It's pretty high up. <laughs> Apologies for the bad camera work. All right. So there we have our Nissan R390 GT1s. Up there, all the other Nissans. All right, what we got left? We got the Bugattis. We'll stick them up there next. And Bugattis right here. So we'll do light blue up in front to match the little blue Bugatti below it. And yellow right there. Next, we'll get our Ferraris. Go ahead and grab all three of them here. And look at our Ferraris, guys. So many of them. And the 250s will be way up there. All right, so gold 250. Right there amongst the others. So we gotta find the red and yellow 250 out there yet. And as we go down to our Enzos. The red guy right there. Amongst all the other red Enzos. See different variations on these. And a black Ferrari FXX Enzo. Ferrari Racer. Go right there. Alright guys, tell me what you think. What do you think of the Bugattis, the Nissan R390 GT1, the 250 LM, and the two Enzos that we got down here? Let me know down in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe and keep giving you guys more content. Look forward to talking to you guys. Bye.